What's going on guys? Um, so I thought I would make one more video and kind of um, explain why I think the escape community is such a diverse community. Um, I know some people are going to be like, wow, you're really doing a video on this, but yeah, I am. Um, I have met an, a, like a lot of amazing people um, while owning this escape and because of this escape. So, by saying that, I have met people all over the country and even outside of the country. I have a friend up in, I, I have two really good friends up in Canada right now who I have met through escapes. Um, one, his name is uh, Alexander, or Xander, we all call him Xander, and um, man, he had one of the badass, like the most badass escape that I had ever like seen. It had um, like 31 inch tires, um, and they were like wide too, I think they were like 10 inches wide, and he had cut some of the fenders to make them fit, and uh, I mean, it was such a cool escape, except, I mean, it was up there in mileage and, and everything like that. It was an older one too, so he kind of, he had to sell it in order to get something more reliable for his family. He, he had, um, I think he just had a kid too. So he definitely needed something more, a little bit more reliable than these things, especially when these get rack up in miles. Um, and then I met a, another friend in New Jersey that kind of got me into the whole scene and he taught me more about what these cars can do and um, everything like that. His name is Nick. Um, find him on Instagram at um, NB Escape or that NB Escape. Um, I'm not really sure. I think he might be getting rid of his escape now, but I mean, I love these cars, but at the same time, these aren't any luxury cars. These are just older, older beaters kind of. Um, so that being said, I understand why people get rid of these cars, but um, probably only to upgrade to newer stuff when they need it to be more reliable and everything like that. But anyways, back to the topic. Um, I've definitely met some cool people and um, the, the amount of diversity you can see in these cars is absolutely amazing. Um, you see lowered cars, you see these, or you see lowered escapes, you see um, lifted escapes, um, you see, I, I've seen escapes with like weird ass donk rims on there and shit, like, um, like 24s or 25s on there, and I mean, in my opinion, they look a little ridiculous, but I mean, to each their own, right? everybody is very accepting and like it, it's just it's the one group that I, I and a few friends started on Facebook modified Ford escape owners um, everybody in that group is considered family like everybody treats each other like they would their own siblings or, or just family in general everybody um, everybody's just extremely light nice and helpful um, now me personally, I'll talk about an experience that I had with another escape group on Facebook and a specific person that is that was in that group. Um, I kind of want to say her name, but I kind of don't. That's ah, great. I'll say her name. I'm not going to say her last name because I don't remember, I don't remember her last name. But anyways, um, there was this woman in a escape group called um, Ford Escape Owners. She was actually one of the admins and everything like that. Ford Escape Owners is about 8,000 people big. Um, it's a relatively large group when it comes to escapes. Um, so, that being said, you get a lot of different people in there. You get soccer moms asking asking weird questions and dumb questions, in my opinion. Um, and then you got people kind of like me who actually like the, like the escape and do, like modifies it the best that they can um so i mean you got your true enthusiasts of these cars and then you got your soccer moms and soccer dads that ask oh what's this um 
So, over the summer, I had a bad experience with um, this one lady. I, okay, this one lady had posted a picture of their shift knob and it had a plus or minus on it. Now, any monkey with a, a, an internet connection can figure that out in three seconds. You just look it up, that's it. Now, one woman decided to go straight to the form and ask what it is. Everybody kind of just started roasting the hell out of her. I mean, and to be honest, it was pretty funny. I mean, this is something you could do plus or minus on shift knob or on shifter and you would have found out what it is. That probably would have taken five seconds. So I commented on there. I thought I was very respectable. I was just saying, this is what it is. For future reference, you might want to try Googling it first. Um, maybe looking in the manual before you post onto the forms or you use the form as kind of a last resort. And apparently the, the original poster got super mad about that. She started like coming at me like saying I was attacking her by saying, um, I, I assume that she didn't go to the internet and everything like that. So I was like, no, I know for a fact you didn't go through the internet because, or you didn't Google anything because it took me five, I literally just, I typed it up on my phone. I was like, five seconds it took me to figure out what that was if I didn't know. So we went back and forth a few times and she was like, she kept on denying that she she definitely went over and, and Googled it and went through the manual and everything like that. And I know for a fact she did. She, she was just lying and felt stupid and yeah, so her and I went back and forth for a while, and she, and she ended up getting really nasty about it, too. So I thought I was very logical in my responses and everything like that. I just thought any, any person could have looked that up in five seconds if I don't know on Google. And then a few minutes later, I get a message from an admin named Shelby. Now, Shelby is actually from where I live back home in that area so it's quite funny because I could actually see her around every so often if I if I really was looking now she messaged me saying hey can you please stop and I was like what so I, I sent back a laughing emoji because I'm like are you kidding me this is just this is childish like that's it I, I sent back a laughing emoji because I'm like you're, you're really getting involved in this right now so then she turns off the commenting on there, tags me and another guy that were kind of going back, back and forth the original poster, and um, yeah, she tags me in the the group rules. So I go in there. She she tags me in that, and I just reply to her comment with a laugh. I'm like, seriously, you're that butt hurt over this and everything like that. So about 10, 15 minutes later, I go back on my phone. I try finding the post again. And I'm not in the group. She kicked me from the group. So I messaged her. I'm like, this, this, this son of a biscuit eating bulldog, or daughter of a biscuit eating bulldog, <laughs> kicked me from the group. So I got, I was mad. I, I messaged her and I'm like, what, what the hell is your issue? And actually, I could read the conversation right now. Let's do that. Let's do that. We're going to do that. So let's see what we can do. Messages or messenger. Shelby. All right. Let's see. This is this is my first response or uh, first message I sent to her. And I said, I was going to say, go ahead and read through the comments. But now you kicked me from the group. Just think it's funny. I made a nice comment and then get and then she got offended and I get kicked. Thanks, Shelby. And then her response is, we don't need any bullying in the group. If you want to be a dick, mock people and put them down, maybe find somewhere else to do that. And then I <laughs> respond, I'm like, LOL, bullying? I put in some constructive criticism and I get kicked. Um, and she says, when I asked everybody to stop, you kept laughing about it too. What does that say about you? I tried st to stop the problem and you keep laughing about it instead of stopping. And I just say, and I stopped and I'm sorry you're, uh, 
excuse me, I said, and I stopped. I'm sorry emojis are so hurtful. And she comments back and says, so hurtful. And I just said, okay, see you later, Snowflake, with a uh, little thumbs up emoji. And she said, damn, most people would just apologize, but I guess that's really difficult for someone like you. Talk to you later. Never said anything after that. Because guess what? She also blocked me. <laughs> she kicks me from the group and blocks me on Facebook. Oh, and then I try rejoining because the other admins were all saying Adam back. And Shelby came, came up with all these accusations that I called her a bitch and all this other stuff. And I didn't. So all the other admins turned against me because Shelby said I did all this crap and I obviously didn't. So I'm now back in that group. Shelby is no longer in that group. Um, I just find that it's super funny that some people are just really obnoxious and do not deserve to have the power on Facebook. So also, okay, well, yeah, that, that just kind of, that sums, sums up the story of the worst, the worst, um, time I've had dealing with people in the escape community is just a certain person was being a complete idiot and one person got a little too butt hurt and it's too big of a snowflake so oops but anyways I made a good I was good friends with another admin in that group so after a while everybody started getting pissed off at her because they all realized what a bitch she is so um after that they kicked her out of the group. They kind of did a whole coup. It was actually really funny. <laughs> so they kicked her out of the group. She, They added everybody that she had kicked out of the group. Because apparently there's a whole long list of, of people that she didn't like and got and kicked out of the group. Which is, is so hilarious to me. That she has this list of people that they that she kicked out of the group. And everybody else is like, are you, are you kidding me? Um, but luckily I'm still in that group now. Um... Shelby, bye-bye. I hope you see this one day and realize you're, you're kind of a, a bitch. Because you are. I hope your radio show just goes to shit, too. Um, but yeah, I'm in the group. She isn't. That's how everything worked out. That's the worst thing I've had to deal with the community. It's just is uh, one woman. That's it. Everybody else I've dealt with are su is super nice. Super um, super helpful in anything you, you have to ask about. So, um the escape community has given me a lot of friends that uh, I didn't think I would ever have um, people that you can always talk to so um, what I'm going to say here is if you have an escape and you want to kind of be a part of this community um, first join Ford Escape Owners on Facebook and um, if you are planning to modify it kind of like mine with lifting of tires, bull bars roof racks, everything like that join Modified uh, Modified Escape Owners um, that's my personal group. I, I run it. Um, Y'all are welcome to join it. Just say, we. I think there's three questions on there um, that you have to answer before your request is submitted and we approve. Um, just put that you saw my videos on YouTube and um, you want to join. So, that being said, um, that's all I got for y'all today. <laughs> I know I kind of went on a little rant for a little bit, but, but that still that still just kind of irks me a little bit that um, one woman kicked me out of a group where I was I was contributing a lot of ideas, I was enjoying other people's ideas, and for me to get kicked because I suggested another means of finding something, finding out something that you could easily look up online. Um, suggesting that you go to Google before maybe going to a whole bunch of other people might be the best thing for her. I got kicked. So, I mean, it sucks. But stuff happens, guys. Stuff happens. People are sometimes stupid. So that being said, um, I'm going to end the video here, and uh, I will talk to you all later. Um, peace out. Subscribe. Join the Facebook groups. Follow me on Instagram. Um, you'll see a... Kind of a list of all the stuff click on my next few videos in the next screen um till next time